here's the first thing everybody wanted. I want to dig deep. I want to go way back, Bobby. Sure. I heard when you were eight years old, you asked for an Easy Bake Oven. Is this true? It's very true, and I got it. My dad was kind of like, how about like a G.I. Joe or a baseball glove? <laughs> so uh, I actually got all of those things. But I did, get a, I did get an Easy Bake Oven because I couldn't believe, I, w I wasn't really interested in cooking, but I couldn't believe you could bake a cake from a light bulb. <laughs> A hundred watt light bulb. So right? even as an eight-year-old, I had to see for myself, yeah. and uh, it works. It was unbelievable. So you went from there, and uh, high school. Now, you, did you graduate from high school? I did not. So uh, proof I, in the pudding here. Yeah, I, I stopped going to school basically somewhere in ninth or tenth grade. Uh, it just was not for me. And um, you know, I have a seventeen-year-old daughter now who's in, who's just finishing junior year in in high school. And uh, you know, when she has a bad week in high school. She says, you know, maybe high school isn't for me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, Dad, you did it. I'm like, we have a very different childhood, so if you continue on. Um, but, you know, luckily she's a really good student. So many people watch what you have achieved, both, uh, you know, on, on the Food Network, with all the shows you've hosted, with your cookbooks, um, and just, just sort of being a, a personality out there for food. They want to be you. What would be the first thing you would say to someone who's in their 20s, who's thinking, I want to be Bobby Flay? What would you tell them to do for schooling? What would you tell them to do just to learn about cooking? Well, you know, uh, my, my sense is that they probably, you know, because of, the, of this, the generation that is now learning about food and coming up and graduating college, uh, I, I did it differently than they probably want to do it, which was uh, slow and steady. You know, before when I started cooking, it was only thought of as a blue-collar profession. I worked in a restaurant called Joe Allen's, which is right here in the Broadway District. It's still open. And as a, I started as a busboy, you know, when I was 17, and then I, I did that for two weeks, and I was sort of walking out of the restaurant, and the chef said to me, you know, if you want to work in the kitchen, there's a job. And I said, okay, fine. I mean, it wasn't like, I, yay, you know. <laughs> uh, and so I, and I started working in the kitchen. It took me a while to really understand that I really liked it. It took me about six months and then I decided to go to culinary school. First I had to go back and get my, uh, my, my GED diploma to go to culinary school because I hadn't graduated right. high school. And, and so I've been cooking in my restaurants for 30 years. And to me, if you want to be um, an authority figure in anything, you need to be well versed in that, in that role. Cooking is the same way. If you go to culinary school for six months, a year, or two years, it doesn't really matter. All that it was really giving you is a, an opportunity to get an entry-level job in the profession. Right. Period. Doesn't make you a chef. Right. Doesn't say, doesn't, you can't, it doesn't mean you should be on top chef cooking away, <laughs> uh, although you know, that's what a lot of people want to do. I think it's really important to, to get the foundation of your profession down. And if you don't really love it, if you're not incredible, you, know, you hear the word passion thrown around all the time, there's no more important word than cooking. If you're not passionate about it, it's not the right thing for you because, especially in the restaurant business, it's long hours, a little bit of pay, but the payoff can be amazing in terms of um, just lifestyle, in terms of how, 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 how it changes your life. Not financially so much, I mean, maybe later down the line, but just it becomes part of your whole life.